Before we see how to solve this problem in R, I need to introduce another function. This is a function called is.na. Is.na is a very simple function. You simply pass an object in, and if the object that you passed in is a na, then it returns a value of true. If the value that you pass into the function is anything else, then the value is false. This seems like a somewhat useless function, but we'll see how it actually is very useful in our, our script. So first of all, here is the isNA function with an NA in it. And when I run that, I can see it gives me a value of true. If I run it when the value is three, it gives me a value of false. So the behavior is as I described. 